Hello, this is Jonas from you, and you are watching Ambi. Hey folks, it's Alicia from Ambi. Now, 10 years ago, one of my friends played me this song that I had heard by a band I've never actually heard of before. That song was special. The band was Mew, and now it's feeling really special to be actually standing with them today. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? I'm awesome. As I mentioned before, we're really stoked that we could finally make this happen. We've really been wanting to interview for a while, so... Cool. Quite happy that we're doing this. Yeah, me too. So I know that recently you released your sixth record, Plus Minus. So what was it like for you guys to get back into the studio and create something new? Because it was your first record in six years. It was great. I mean, it took us a long time to finish it, but we also spent a long time touring the last record, and uh, and we just thought we'd have a little break from the band, which we never did, and we, you know, we used to live together, so it was good for us to do some other things and then come back into it. And then it, it kind of happened in phases, you know, after that. And something I really enjoyed about the album is that there are a ton of different nuances. Every song pretty much isn't the same, yeah. which is great to hear from a record. So when right. you went into the album, was that a conscious or into the recording process? Was that a conscious decision? Because some bands go into the studio like, I'm going to make a disco album. or Yeah, no, but that's what we used to do. We yeah. used to always have an idea of a particular style or something we wanted to try out on a whole album. But on this one, I, th I think we just felt like we kind of trusted that no matter what we made, it would sound like us, because, you know, it's it's our band. So it's, it's a, it is a very diverse album, I think, very versatile, if you will. And I, uh, yeah, I, I, if there is a concept for this album, it is to just Diversity, be free. Yeah. yeah, be free to do whatever you want, yeah. Well, something I really took away just from looking at the lyrics and listening to them, they're really more like poetry when you kind of take it all in, rather than yeah. looking and thinking, oh, those are song lyrics, you know? Yeah. Was that also something that you decided upon during the creation? Yeah, I've always, I guess I've always written like that. I do feel like I'm starting to be a little more direct sometimes, but I, I like that about lyrics, that you are able to interpret them yourself. I always liked that when I was a kid listening to, I was often disappointed uh, <laughs> even reading the lyrics because it wasn't what I thought it was. You yeah. know? But but also when songs were explained to me, I was like, oh, is that it? That's that's so normal and boring, and or you know, <laughs> and I thought that uh, you know if you if you write in a kind of veiled, abstract way, you leave it up to the listener to make make out of the song what they wish to or what they 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 want to, and in that way the song kind of keeps growing even after we finish it, you know. Mm -hmm. And you're now bringing plus minus across North America. Yeah. How have those shows been? It's been great. We had really no idea what to expect because we've <laughs> yeah. been gone so long. But it's been wonderful, really, and, and great turnout. So we're very grateful. It's been six years, I believe, since you've actually returned to North America, which is yeah. quite a while. So being that you're back in Toronto tonight, what's one of your most or your biggest memories from the last time you were actually through town? The last time in Toronto? Yeah. I, I, I love the black squirrels you have. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's why I remember from the last time I was here, I was in the park and there were black squirrels. And I'd never seen black squirrels before because in Denmark they're red. Mm -hmm. And in you know in the U.S. they're usually gray and kind of a little nasty. But uh, but I like the, the, the black squirrels here. And the show was awesome. I remember the show. It was, it was really cool. And uh, what else? I had a discussion about the, the name of the hockey team. Maple leaves. Yeah, why, it's, why, maple leaves. why is it not called maple leaves? That's one of. See, I'm not a. Ma I know I'm an awful Canadian, but I'm not a massive hockey fan. No, right. So right. yeah, the grammar on that drives me crazy every yeah. single time. But it's kind of cool, you know. They just they don't. They don't, they don't care. Don't care. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you actually mentioned the squirrels there because I interviewed a band called Years and Years from the UK recently, and right. they actually saw a squirrel mid-interview and they stopped the whole thing. Like, right. oh my gosh, it's a black squirrel. Yeah. I didn't realize it was. How that come different. the squirrels are black here? No idea. Right. It's a mystery. Is it only in Toronto? Uh, probably throughout Canada, I'd assume. I think it's only Toronto. Maybe it's our special it's little thing, the black yeah. squirrels. Toronto squirrels. Well, being that it's in support, of course, of Plus Minus, which songs off the record are you enjoying playing the most at the moment? Um, we really like playing the song Rose, which is a very long song. Probably, I think it's the longest song we've ever done. And it's it's quite uh, challenging. And uh, we, we just have a lot of fun playing that. And it's very it's very it's it's a very emotional song as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, we, we enjoy playing... Uh, all the new tracks. There's some tracks we haven't played live yet because they're kind of tricky to translate, you know. But um, yeah, I I don't know. It's it's all good. 
Well, being that there are six records under your belt and such an extensive back catalog, when it comes to actually curating those set lists, do you find it tricky at times, or is it a little bit of a stumper thinking, what are we going to throw in tonight? Yeah, it's a. Uh, we kind of always end up mid tour having a fairly similar set list, and then we will change a few songs. But we really sort of hone in on the on the songs we like and and the, the ones that we enjoy most, because I think. The more we enjoy it, the more it will translate to the yeah, audience. Yeah, the more the, the fans can vibe off of so, that. So, yeah. so and, and when you have a good flow in a set, you tend to sort of stick with that a little bit. But, we, but you know, we also try and mix it up a little bit so, it's a, so it stays challenging for us as well. Well, going into the interview, we asked fans and readers of our site who are fans of yours if they had any questions. And one thing they really want to know is just the people behind the music. So just outside of music and touring and the writing, what are some other or hobbies or interests that you actually take part in? Well, me personally, I do a lot of uh, visual arts and animation and stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, everybody does art. Uh, Johan kind of designs stuff. And uh, Silas, uh, is, yeah, he paints and draws and reads thick books about stuff. <laughs> yeah, he reads a lot. Yeah, I don't know. It's not, it doesn't sound very exciting, does it? It's not that bad. Yeah. I've, I've heard pretty much people just say, oh, we love to sleep. <laughs> I do, I love to, I do love to bad. sleep. Sleeping is amazing. <laughs> Especially when you haven't slept in a real bed for a couple a of months. Time, yeah, yeah, then sleeping in a bed is, is quite wonderful. <laughs> well, you've been a band now for over 20 years. So is there yeah. anything left that you'd really want to achieve? Is there something still on that bucket list? You feel like you've accomplished most of the things that you set out to do? Yeah, I don't know. I think I don't really think about bucket lists that much. I, I think that it's a it's a mistake to think of life as collecting a bunch of memories that you can reminisce when you're dying, and think, oh, I I didn't waste my life. I yeah. did all this. I think it's all about doing what you want to do in the present. And w right now we're we're enjoying so much being on tour, and we're quite we're quite excited about making new music. So it's I don't think it's not a matter of wanting to accomplish more. It's just a matter of doing what you want to do you know and you think it probably won't be a six-year wait for the next record yeah I, I, that's exciting <laughs> I can't make any promises I, I always shock myself how how long we take but I do think that we can be faster this time fantastic well just to wrap everything up you have this amazing loyal fan base that have stuck with you since day one and it seems to be ever growing so, yeah. so all of your fans are going to be viewing our interview is there anything you'd like to say to them I just want to thank you for for your years of support and I apologize for being very slow and um, thank you for your understanding and thanks for coming to the shows it's always well worth the wait and I just want to say thank you so much for your time today it was so nice finally Likewise. speaking with you thank remember you, you everyone watching you can visit us at amusicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews features videos and so much more with your favorite artists we'll see you next time